everyone welcome to day two of Songkran uh, it's definitely more busy than it was the day before uh, look at, I mean just look at this traffic <laughs> I'm glad we didn't get the bus down well, you know we we probably got on realized wow look at this and got straight back off uh, so we just went straight for the motorbike and looks like that was a good idea I mean look at the state of this Absolute bedlam. It's Porsche Cayenne there. I'm not sure about this new model. It's, it looks like they've cheaped it out a bit. So this is up in Nakhdua. As you can see, Songkran still going on up here as well. Nice. <laughs> Although it's not quite as crazy as it is further down. Central Pattaya, Beach Road, Soy 6, all that. It's a lot more tame here. She was hiding out in the traffic. Got me good. Here's a dolphin roundabout. Quite gridlocked on the way down Beach Road. <laughs> Policeman there. Not sure exactly how he's helping, but. There, bowing on his whistle with his white gloves on. And this is, I'm not sure what this road is actually, it's the, it's the next road on from Second Road. Might put a subtitle in if I remember. This is absolutely manic as well. Ooh, near miss there. Vagina clink. <laughs> Dear. Yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> Alright. Saved you about two seconds there, mate. <laughs> New Year to you as well, love. Sorry, it's wet. <laughs> I think we've just stopped near size six. Obviously, we're going to cross the road ourselves. Probably easier. It's a bit like playing Frogger crossing the road in Thailand. You just gotta make your way, find the gaps. That's the uh, Songkran gear we bought yesterday. Them creamfield pants. Ooh. Thai tourist police assistant there. Making sure everybody's having a safe time. <laughs> yeah, she goes straight into the bar. I don't think she's a big fan of some pan. Mind you, I, I wasn't after after this day. I didn't I didn't go back out until until the final day. I stayed I stayed away. I was just sick of it. Every time you go out, you got to waterproof your stuff. You're gonna get soaked. Yeah. It soon gets boring. <laughs> Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves today. Here on size 6. Yep, thumbnail appears. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna wander down. I don't go all the way down. I mean, there's plenty going on this side. Hmm. Photograph. I'm, I'm, I'm a celebrity now, am I? Or does she want to show it to the authorities and get me in trouble? I don't know. Anyway, she's got it now. Okay. Mm, one more. Smile. Let's see if I can get a bit further. Uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, so I mentioned in the last video about the, the sort of bigger, more powerful water guns. Asking price, normally about 800 baht. Uh, but obviously yesterday, um, well yesterday for me now, on the last day of some cran, I managed to buy one. He said 800. Uh, and I says, I'll give you 500. And he said 600. And I says, I've got 500. And he was all right with that. I'm assuming that's because it was the last day. He wanted to get a shot of it. Uh, you could have maybe even haggled him down more, maybe, but I think 500, you know, it's a fair, fair enough price, isn't it? So there's a tip, <laughs> cheap water gun, always haggle with those sort of things. How many water guns must they sell during some crap? And what happens to them afterwards? I bet, I bet if I go out now, there's loads of just guns laid out on the side of the street. I guess the people who collect plastic bottles might go around and get them. Um, if it's the same sort of thing, they can recycle and get some money from them, I guess. Maybe that's what happens. No, don't, don't put water on me. I'm walking down side six in some camera. Don't, don't, don't put water on me, please. <laughs> yep, the uh, blue tube guns there. I did hear you're not supposed to have them, but I saw so many and nobody, nobody seemed to have them confiscated. So I think that's a bit of a rumor. Uh, I never, I never saw any issues with them. No oh, thanks, I've got enough. <laughs> nice hat, mate. See a ice truck in there in the distance there. So we can put ice in the uh, water, water buckets, water bins. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not great. It doesn't feel great when you get hit with a bucket of ice water, especially when you're not expecting it. You soon get used to it though. And once it's you know once you're hot enough, it can be a nice refreshing way to cool down. The problem is though, when you get hot water, uh, not hot water, but you know, warm water, ice water, and then the heat from just the general weather. So much of that, I had a really bad ache. My whole body was aching, and I think it was to do with just the, you know, the quick change in temperatures over and over again. Didn't have a great sleep, <laughs> but better now. Hello, love. Oh, that was icy. What's he filming with? Just his phone, I think. A lot of phones are waterproof these days. I've got the uh, Sony XZ3. I had a little go with it in Songkran. No issues. Didn't get wet, but no issues. So I can vouch for the waterproofness of the Sony XZ3. The camera's really good as well for her. A video. It's got great stabilization on it, a big, big lens. This Nightwish group I'm seeing all over the place now. I've even seen like watermarks on videos of Kevin Thailand, uh, NDTVI, they've got like this Nightwish group watermark. I'm gonna have to have a word with them, see, see what that's about. Maybe it's because they're well behaved bloggers, bloggers. <laughs> they don't go down size six at night filming all the girls, like some people do. Yeah, he's getting some attention, isn't he? He's a pretty lad. <laughs> 
And I'm back up at the corner bar now. Had my little excursion down there. Time for a quick swig on a beer. And I'll get the highlights from up here, I think. What a day. I do go to soy, soy Bukau later, but I'm gonna put those in a different video. I don't, want, I don't want the videos to run too long, 15-20 uh, minutes seems alright. Some of my videos go for 25. Horses for courses really, isn't it? You see the, the traffic's trying to come down, uh, these taxis and stuff. It, it really is a daft thing to try and do, <laughs> try and go down Soy 6. Doing some cram, but what do you know? People are doing it. I mean, maybe maybe the taxis have passengers in there. Say, oh, we want to go down Soy Six, have a look, but not get wet. Maybe that's what it is. Everything you need, some cram so, right yeah, here. Yeah, you can see here the stall at the at the second road side of Soy Six. Everything you need. These guys over here, practicing, they're training, practicing. training with their weapons. <laughs> Oh, beauty. Yeah, they look relatively dry. They've only got a little bit wet there. Go on and look, give you the best shot. <laughs> oh, shot in the ass. Hey, Bob. Bob from Carnaby. She's having a go. She's gonna go down. Good luck. I'm gonna stay dry for long, love. Good luck. <laughs> oh my. So it begins. Uh, I think that was a ladybird. Wobble, wobble, Who read it? Who you buy? <laughs> she knows, she knows. Roadblock. <laughs> See that pink taxi there? He's like, I want to go down to my six. Everyone's too busy taking photos, getting in his way. There we go. One with the king. I think you're gonna get far though, mate. You're in a hurry. Yeah, that is. Not oh, even the car. Even the cars get sand crammed. Right, here we go. These are the boys with the ice. Um, I think I saw the woman from the bar. She paid. It looked like she handed over 120 baht, and she got two big blocks of ice. Uh, so obviously, one block of ice must be about 60 baht. Makes sense. Looks like 120 baht that does, doesn't it?
<laughs> she got me there. That kid's getting dunked. <laughs> he's not happy about it, but he's getting in. There you go. <laughs> anyway, I think this is the last clip, so I will call it a day for the narration there. Please like, comment, and subscribe.